guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. So today we will be opening our two remaining boxes of Kinder Joy Neptunes collection right here. So each box actually contains I think eight eggs, which means we have eight different figures. Hopefully you are able to get some new figures, okay? So let's open these two boxes and let's see. Alright guys, so let's open the first box. You know, these figures are actually pretty cool, I must say. It comes with plenty of articulation. It comes with very nice colors. So you can see there are eight eggs in each box. So let's open them up. This is basically the chocolate. And this one will be the figure inside. Hopefully you're able to get some new figures. If not, you know, it's fine. We'll just be assembling them, that's for sure. Okay, so this is like a little monkey. I don't think we already have this figure, that's for sure. Just pop it right in. Hopefully I'll able to get some new figures, that would be nice. And you have to assemble this right here as well. Okay, it's not easy. Pop it right in. Pretty tough. Okay, so this is the tree. And you can actually snap the monkey onto the tree. Looks really nice. Alright. Next, let's have a look at another one. I'll put all this away. Hopefully, I'm able to get a new one. This is the pink dolphin. That's nice. Okay. White dolphin. This actually name as a white dolphin right here in Chinese. So for this, it should be really simple. We just pop it right in. Like this. It comes with a little stand. So if I'm not wrong, this is the bow boto. Volto is also known as the pink dolphin. Pop this right in. Pretty cute. You can actually move the tail up and down, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, next. Let's open another one. After this batch, I think we won't be opening more Kinder Joy Neptunes anymore because I think we have completed the set. Oh, this one is nice. It's a crocodile, I think. Let's have a look. Okay, let's pop this right in. Crocodile. So you can press this little button. Yeah, this one is a nice figure. I'm not too sure whether I have this. It doesn't seem to have this figure, so it's a new one. Oh, this is a cool one. Seems to be a reindeer. Let's have a look at the leaflet. Let's fix this together. Pop in the head. Another body. It should be a reindeer. Comes with a movable neck. Beautiful. Really beautiful. And the horns, the antlers, are actually kind of soft. To make them, you know, safer for kids, I guess. I like it. I like it. Let's have a look at this, which seems to be a grizzly bear. Okay, it should be a grizzly bear, so how do we fix this? Pop in this part. 
And here you now you have to snap it in. Okay, maybe it's, we have to snap it in first. Like this. Then you pop in the upper body. Very nice. The grizzly bear, or it could be like a brown bear. No articulation for this. Kind of strange. Let's see, maybe there is. Hmm. You can push it up and down apparently. Oh, you can move it up and down like this. Nines. So you can actually stand on four legs or you can stand on the hind legs upright. Very nice. That's cool. We wouldn't have know know that if we didn't look at the little leaflet. So the little little leaflet is actually pretty useful. Okay, the next one seems to be an impala, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it should be an impala. Let's assemble this. Pop in the neck. And now for the other part of the body. Very nice. I can't remember if we have this figure. But it's it looks really new. I mean, it looks new to me. It looks fresh to me. So we probably don't have this figure. Not exactly sure, but I, to be honest, I can't remember. It's fine. Next, we have a squirrel. I definitely have this squirrel. That's for sure. I can rem I can remember it. Okay, a squirrel. But I'm not too sure whether I can remember how to assemble this. <laughs> that is the main thing. Okay, how do we assemble this? Let's have a look. Okay. So it should be this way. Seems to be this way. Then you pop in the body like this. And it's holding on to a stock of maize, I think. You can move the stock of maize by pushing this little hander. Kind of cute. Doesn't move much, but still pretty cute, I must say. The last piece, the last egg from the first box. What do we have right here? Is this a Gila monster? I'm not too sure. It's like a salamander. It's basically like a lizard. This should be very easy to fix. Yeah, there you go. Very nice. Seems to be a gecko. I'm not sure. It's, you know, just one of the lizards. So let's open this, our second box. Hopefully we're able to get different ones, that would be nice. I hope so. It's the monkey again. I'm okay with fixing it again, if you guys don't mind. So let me just pop it right in. And this is the monkey. Wow. I have no idea why this is so much harder to pop it in than the previous one. Yeah, it's probably not well made. Yeah, I can't seem to close it, so let's move this aside. 
and let's proceed to the next one. Okay, we've got a cool one. It's a black panther. So a black jaguar or a black leopard could it can all be caught. Okay, I, I know this one, it's the um, super tough one. The very, very tough one. This has got to be one of the harder ones to actually assemble, to be honest. Okay, but we have actually done this a couple of times, so yep, we got it pretty fast. So let's see. I think I'm able to move the legs. So this is a black panner, you can see. The arms is supposed to move. They're supposed to like move sideways. Very nice. Okay, so that's the black panner. A very nice one. This one should be a goat, a farm animal. Very nice. So for this, it's quite easily, it's quite easy to assemble. All we need to do is to snap the front part of the body the back part and you can see it's very nice articulation you can move the body up and down it could be a billy good or a nanny good another pink dolphin let's assemble this A stand. Very nice. If they have a shock, that will be brilliant. But nope, they don't have a shock for now. A tortoise. Let's see what kind of tortoise this is. I can't really remember, to be honest. Oh, you can actually push the head inwards and outwards so it's gonna be pretty cute I suppose this is the back part and this is the front part yep the head let's see whether we can move the head not exactly can't really move it yep can't really move it to be honest Supposed to move it up and down, or do we put the wrong side? Yeah, this should be the correct side, but it doesn't seem to move for me. So, but it's okay, it's fine. Squirrel again. Yep, this is getting a little bit boring for you guys, I think. Yeah, definitely a little bit boring for you guys, I suppose. But I still kind of enjoy it. It's quite fun to resemble these figures. Not gonna lie. Yep, you move it up and down. This is supposed to like push it back. Squirrel holding on to that stock of mace. Let's hope for a different figure. I want a red panda. Oh, this time we got a Bevo. Okay, the Bevo seems to be quite complicated. This has several parts to it. Okay. 
Let's see. You have to fix the head first, followed by the body. Snap it right in. Oh my goodness. Did I just accidentally like damage the figure? Let's try. Let's try this again. Okay, there you go. And we have to fix. There's a little branch. Okay, not branch. Yeah, like a little tree trunk. I'm not too sure what to even call it. Pop it right in. Very cute. Let's see. Oh, okay. You push the tail. You push it downwards like this, and we go into like this chomping little action. You can see there's a little indentation on the the trunk. So it's basically chewed off a small part of the trunk. Nibber off. Okay, our last one. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. It's it's kind of fun for me. Hopefully it's fun for you guys as well. Oh, we've got our, um, our panda. Our panda is like a national animal for China. They are highly protected because pandas are very well known for being kind of silly. Yeah, they're not too intelligent. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, they're not too intelligent and they always put themselves in trouble. Yeah. So let's try to fix this. I don't think I have this panda. No, wait a minute. I do. I do, I do. Okay. But I know this is like one of the extremely challenging figures to, to actually assemble. Yeah, it's not easy to to assemble this, that's for sure. Oh, there you go, it was easy. Panda, super adorable. So we can do like a quick recap of what we have. We have a monkey right here, a pink dolphin, or rather two pink dolphins. This should be a gecko. No, if this is not, let's just call this a lizard. A crocodile, a panda, we have a reindeer right here, an impala, I like this a lot, this is quite rare, a very beautiful bear that is able to stand on all fours as well as on the hind legs, which is super cool. We have a billy goat, I think, a tortoise. Two squirrels, a black panther, and a beaver. Very nice. I like this a lot. So thanks for watching this, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Okay, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.